So I'm wondering about the instinctual feelings that human beings have to recreate themselves mm -hmm. and actually have families in the first place. I know we've spoken about the increasing population and the demands of humanity on the planet. What would you recommend to people as they're considering having families? Well, what is important is that humanity as a whole considers the nature of the impact of the population on the planet, but also on the ability of humanity to interact with the environment, to make use of the resources that the planet can provide. The more human beings that there are, the bigger the impact on the ability of the planet to survive and give its resources to humanity. So what is important is for humans in terms of that of humanity to limit the nature, and it is not a pleasurable thing for humanity to understand, but it needs to limit and come back into balance with the planet. And in terms of the impact of that on parenting, of course, you can create a different energy within a child such that it can take care of the planet and not become subject to that which is other ways of being, such as marketing, such as different ways of understanding how life can be created. But, and there is always a but, of mm. course, it is important for humanity to understand that the population is becoming too much for this planet. It's important that that is a message that is taken out there, but is not taken in the wrong way. It is part of the ego mechanism that recreates itself as part of its strategy to survive, because it senses that part of it becomes part of that which is the child. Mm. But that is not the case, because the child itself eventually, through the raising of their conscious awareness, rejects the ego patterns of the parent and creates a new, we would say, energy or vibrational frequency. So in terms of the replication of human beings, what you need to do is limit how many children a person should have, because it is that which has the impact, not just on the humanity, not just on that level in terms of the vibrational frequency of humanity, but the wider context of the relationship between humanity and the planet. I have a sense that actually having rules or of limitation may not go down so well. <laughs> it feels to me as though as we educate people of the consequences of an expanding population, that we need to start as humanity looking at what that means for our children mm. and the planet that they then will be living on and that true freedom will be that people choose not to have children or choose to only have one or two children um, because they can see that they want a planet for those children that will sustain them mm. and their grandchildren also for people not to feel they should have children that it seems that some people I'm not sure that they necessarily even want children but they feel that that's what they should be doing mm. well there is a family pressure that mm. does arise in terms of the continuation of the family itself and the DNA structure of the family to allow it to survive it is part of the collective ego of the family that looks to have children born into that family Yes. What is part of the mechanism that needs to be reviewed is why do people have children? Mm -hmm. What is it that children bring them? Of course, it is part of the expression of love. It is part of the expression of loving kindness to mm -hmm. be able to give a child freedom, to be able to give a child that experience. But of course, it is in the short term that you are interacting with a child on that level, the child then goes out into the world, becomes an adult, and does whatever it is in terms of the nature of their own desire and experience, create a life. Mm. In terms of family, what is truly family? Of course, you can look at the DNA structure of a family and say that is family, or you can look at the relationship that a person has with another person and say that they are closer or on a more intimate level than any of their family members. Mm. So 
is calling into doubt what is the nature of family mm. and also how humanity can survive mm. as a family because that is what humanity is. So people could be encouraged to create family with friends mm. um, and not feel the need necessarily to have children just to create family. Mm. That is important also, to go through that process. I know that family life is a place where a lot of the relationships create the opportunity for people to learn their life lessons and that issues can be brought into someone's conscious awareness and potentially have the opportunity to be healed. Mm. Although it seems as though a lot of families just literally create pain, suffering and the family dynamic breaks apart. How would this be impacted if people didn't have children but actually gravitated towards what we could call soul groups or groups mm. of friends instead? Of whatever or whoever you are faced with, of course when we say whatever we are referring to the universe, whoever we are referring to individual human beings, you do not need to be faced with a child or the child does not need to be faced with a parent in order to see themselves in the mirror of another. Mm. When we talk about family and you talk about soul groups, then that, from an energetic perspective, is a family. Mm. When you talk about humanity as a soul group, which is a fraction of the universe itself, that is a family. So within the context of that, you can look at anybody and see the nature of yourself, as we have said. But only when you are consciously aware of what is being reflected back to you, do you afford yourself the opportunity of resolving the issues. You do not need children to do that. You do not need parents to do that. So as part of that aspect, if you widen your understanding of what family is in relation to you discovering the truth of yourself, mm. then children are not absolutely necessary for that. Mm. So we can, as humans, still continue to learn and raise our vibrational frequency mm. for the betterment of humanity. Of course, and a proportion of humans that, because of the sustainability of humanity itself, will have children. Mm. But mm. through a conscious perspective, through a conscious journey of understanding the impact of having children on the planet and humanity at the same time. And presumably we need to look at helping those nations who have vast numbers of children. Mm. Well, you can understand when you look at that in terms of the level of ego and fear mm. as to how that is playing out because mm. the more ego and the more fear that exists, then the more children will become part of that population. Mm. And if people's basic needs aren't met, then mm. they look to the children to help them with their basic needs. That's, that is true. And what is important is that humanity comes together to alleviate that pressure on the individual person to provide for a family, mm -hmm. that humanity can provide for humanity. Yes, absolutely. It can be an amazing experience for us. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome.